what's up people piz out here and today i want to talk to you guys about arrow videos new blu-ray release for one pick care simone's slugs and just take in that beautiful new cover art there that is some great great artwork on this blu-ray now this movie if you guys have followed my channel you know i love this movie i actually did a full review of slugs probably about a year or so ago for my file 13 series so for a full in-depth review of this masterpiece go check out that review i'll put a link to it in the description below i love this movie this is one of my favorite so bad it's good movies it's about a town beset with huge carnivorous blood thirsty slugs slugs and it's from the guy who brought us quite possibly the all-time best so bad it's good movie pieces i love this movie i love this movie so i jumped at the opportunity to pick up this blu-ray because it's slugs it's slugs now, <laughs> Arrow, as always, with all of their Blu-ray releases, they've really rolled out the red carpet for this movie. They understand that this is kind of a cult movie that people like me, aficionados of so bad, <laughs> their good movies are going to run out and grab this Blu-ray release. Because really, I think up to this point, all Slugs had was a kind of cheapy DVD release, which I also own. But jump at the opportunity to pick this up. Great, great artwork there. Let me give a shout out to the artist, Wes Ben Scotter. Excellent work there on that cover art. Um, the sleeve is reversible. There you go. There is the original cover art. Um, it also comes with a nice booklet inside. Gorgeous and beautiful. Um, there's a write-up inside by Mike Gingold talking about the making of the film, its release, etc., etc. Giant, bloodthirsty, carnivorous slugs. Need I say more? I needn't. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the extras on this baby. First and foremost, we have a brand new 2K restoration from the original negative with uncompressed original motto audio. The movie looks fantastic. The movie sounds fantastic. This is the best slugs will ever look or sound. We've got a seven and a half minute interview with actor Emilio Linder called Here's Slugs in Your Eye. Uh, Mr. Linder discusses how he met Juan Piquer Simone and got cast in Slugs and how Simon kept a very loose, laid-back kind of set. He also discusses his very memorable death in the movie, which, um, very memorable death in the movie, and how they pulled that off. A really informative, nice interview with Mr. Linder. Uh, next up we have They Slime, They Ooze, They Kill, which is uh, an interview with special effects artist Carlo D. Marquis. It's just over 10 minutes in length. He discusses working with uh, Wampa Care Simone. Uh, he actually says that he'd worked with Spielberg and that Wampa Care Simone was just as good as Spielberg. Now, I'll see you that and I'll raise you this. Steven Spielberg wishes he was Wampa Care Simone. Uh, Mr. Marquis also discusses. Um, how little time he had to prepare the effects for the film. He discusses the difficulty in working with the real slugs in the movie. Apparently the real slugs, they didn't take direction very well. I mean, who'd have thunk it? Um, and uh, yeah, really interesting um, conversation with Mr. Marquis, to say the least. Of course, he, he thought very, very highly of uh, Mr. Simone. So uh, yeah, can't fault him there, as I clearly do too. Next up, we've got Invasion USA, which is just over 11 minutes. It's an interview with art director Gonzalo Gonzalo. And Mr. Gonzalo discusses how he decorated the sets, um, how a lot of the sets were actually miniatures. Some of them I noticed, some of them I didn't. So good for you, Mr. Gonzalo. Uh, he also discusses how they filmed uh, some of the slug 
attack sequences. And again, he goes on record saying that the slugs uh, were not easy to work with. They did not take direction very well. Pretty interesting interview there with Mr. Gonzalo. Next, we have got The Lion's Den, a 21-minute interview and location tour with production manager Larry Ann Evans. And Miss Evans discusses working with Juan Piquer Simone and uh, how she actually recommended to him that they shoot the film in Lyons, New York, because it was her hometown, which she knew was absolutely perfect for the movie. It's also the town where they filmed Lady in White, as a matter of fact. Um, she guides us on a tour of the shooting locations in Lyons and discusses how people are still finding fake slugs in their backyards in that little town. Um, she discusses her disappointment in how New World handled the movie theatrically and how people bash it on the internet, etc. Uh, she also talks a lot about working with Juan Piquer Simone and how he was like uh, a second father to her. So what I really got out of all of these interviews with people when they started talking about Juan Piquer Simone, they really talked about what a great guy he was, what a loving uh, and kind person he was and how um you know what kind of director he was he wasn't the kind of director who really according to miss lines he kind of felt like um he was from that hitchcock school of you know the actors are just sort of like cattle that you move around <laughs> the scene and he's really you know focusing on you know the horror and the scene and the special effects and the suspense and so on and so forth really really nice interview uh, with Miss Evans here. This is really, I think, the jewel um, of this uh, uh, new release of Slugs as far as the extras are concerned. We also get a trailer. We get two commentaries on the film. Uh, one was Slugs author Sean Hudson. Yes, Slugs was originally a novel. And we get another commentary with filmmaker Chris Alexander. Did not have a chance to check out either of those commentaries yet, but I'm sure they are interesting. If you are a fan of Slugs, and I can't imagine anybody not being a fan of this glorious, glorious movie. This is the way to go. It looks good. It sounds good. Lots of good special features on here. If you're a fan of So Bad They're Good Movies, this is definitely one that should be on your to-watch list, along with Juan Piquet Simone's other great film pieces. Um, yeah. I highly recommend going out and picking up this Blu-ray. I'll put a link to uh, Arrow's website in the description below. Go check them out. And, um, yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. Hope everybody out there is having a fantastic October. Stay safe. And until I see you again, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.